Hello guys, what's up? This is the Polyglot Programmer and I'm back today. Actually, it's pretty late at night, it's almost 10 p.m. here in the Netherlands. Uh, and in the back you can hear my air fryer. It's cooking my kitchen, my chicken. <laughs> so I wanna, uh, but I still wanted to get through this exercise uh, on video today. And because it's a really, it was really interesting exercise for me to do. And I think it's gonna be really interesting to, to go through it. So, so this is a uh, longest repeating character in the string. So given a string that consists of uh, only uppercase English, English letters, uh, you can perform at most K operations in the string. So you have uh, in one operation, you can choose any, any character, uh, you can choose any character in the string and change to any other character. So, okay. Uh, and find the length of the longest substring containing the same letters. Uh, so in this example here, for example, you have a string equals ABAB and you have two operations. Uh, so here, uh, maximum substring is length is four because you can replace two A uh, with two Bs or vice versa and you get four characters um, in this one you only have one operation uh, and you the length is also four because okay so we have a a and b and then you can change this and then you have another a and then you have another b then this length is equal four uh, and here he even sets up string b b b b b uh, has a longest repeating character, but it's it's semi correct because you also have a a a a a. Uh, so this is a sliding window problem, and you can even if you this it doesn't have a solution and also doesn't have tips, but you, you can get some tips actually by. Uh, I mean, I, I know this just by looking at it because usually this uh, when you when you're trying to find the longest substring usually comes down to a sliding window problem or two pointers uh, that's how you kind of keep track but you can come here and say related topics two pointers sliding window that kind of gives you at least a tip of what you're going to need to 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 solve the problem so so the so what you're going to do here is basically you're gonna we're going to have two pointers right they're both are going to start here and then you're going to move on and then you're going to say oh are these guys equal and oh they are and then you're gonna increase a counter and until they're not in this case here for example and if they're not uh, then you're gonna move this guy and you're gonna decrease whatever count here and the way so so let's let's get down here with the boilerplate right so let's just declare one guy here that is the length of s that's just to to help us uh, kind of keep track uh, the, so we don't just make it just for ease of uh, ease of typing and the way we're gonna keep track of the number of characters uh, of each character uh, of the current character is by just using a char count map which is pretty common so the way we do this in Python is super easy we just declare uh, a slice of 26 zeros each uh, each index it's corresponding to a letter so a would be 0 b would be 1 and the way you do this is by when you get the the ascii value for a char you just subtract a and in this case since it's an upper letter you're going to subtract cap uh, upper a and in here now we're going to define two pointers start uh, and and just to keep track of our sliding uh, window and we're also going to go ahead and we're going to define uh, max length equals zero that we're going to return max length equals zero and what we want to do here is that we want to keep going on our we want to keep going on the string until we hit, we hit the end right we don't want to 
So that's uh, one optimal way to do this. So while n less than n, which is the length of our array, we are going to keep going. And at the end here, I'm just going to, this is kind of like a regular uh, for loop in any other language, like for, for uh, n equals zero, uh, and until n is less than the length of whatever, and plus plus at the end. But this is just a Python easy way to do this. Right, so this is a boilerplate. So we got the boilerplate to do this. So this is, uh, so we're halfway there, kind of. Um, well, of course, the, if we run this, we're not gonna get anywhere. Uh, it doesn't really give us any answer because max length is zero, so, so that's fine. So the, the first thing that we need to do here is that we need to add, uh, add to the character count in our map. So the way we're gonna do this is gonna, we're gonna do the char count uh chart count uh and how do we do this we're gonna we have this we need to get the ascii value right so we get the ascii value of s and uh but if we do this we're gonna get some really high ascii value our indexes don't only go up to 25 so the way we need to do this is we need to subtract the a from it and this way we're increasing one on whatever character is on this uh, position here right and and now we we need to we actually forgot about something so now we're gonna need a variable to keep its account to just keep track of the count of the current repeating character right that we're that we're looking for and we're always gonna compare that one with, uh, with re we're always gonna compare that one with the current one that we're at. So we're always gonna have the maximum one there. So, so now we're just gonna update this guy, max count equals max, right? So here we're updating the count, we're, we're comparing uh, the current count uh, the current max count with the current count of that character. So we're just doing max count and in here yeah in this so now we have a max count okay so so okay so we're moving our we're moving our uh, uh, our the end side of a window and now we need to keep track uh, now we need to, what we need to do now is that we need to keep track of the size of our window and to see if we still have, uh, and we, we need to make sure that we don't go, uh, the size of our window is not, it's not higher than, uh, the size of our window minus our max count, right? It's not, it's not uh, more than k which is the number of operations so we're just basically checking the length of the the size <laughs> the length of our sliding window uh and and this is how we tell that we're <coughs> that we're out of operations <laughs> right we don't really need to keep subtracting out uh, the operations we just need to keep track of the size of our sliding window. So in the way we're gonna do this is while, uh, okay, the size of our sliding window is n minus start, right? Uh, minus max count, right? Cause n is here, start is here, minus the max count is the max number of current characters uh, plus one because uh, or because both of them start at zero, so and, and one character is already one, so yeah. And we need to make, sh and if this guy is bigger than k, right? Uh, then that means that we're not gonna be able to, to use those, uh, to, we're not gonna be able to, we're not going to have enough operations to update that sliding window, right? And that means that we need to, oh, this guy, I forgot. 
that means that we need to subtract from the start so we're gonna we're moving our sliding window right so we're moving here and then we need to subtract from whatever count was in the left was in the was in the, the left side so it was in the start right and then we move our start and once we're out of this and then we just compare max length with max max length with the size of our sliding window so and start plus one and that's that's it I guess so let's see so we got index out of range mm. line 14 ah I always do this it's uppercase letter so we need to subtract upper a here I also did, did the first time and that's it so that so it's so that's the one thing to 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 keep in mind about this type of exercise is that if you see oh let's find the longest substring of longest repeating characters longest repeating numbers longer numbers of zeros think of a sliding window think of two pointers and I think that's always gonna get there this is a really hard problem to to explain to be honest but once you just stop grab a piece of paper write it down it's it's not that hard so so do that hope you hope you guys enjoyed it and see you next time